This is an older book, Turkeys Together, by Carol Wallace, illustrated by Jacqueline Rogers. Very cute. And it's been well loved. Turkeys Together. Oops. I'm not holding the pages very well. Uh, 2005. Contents. That means there's four little chapters. There's a dog. Go away, a dog. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I follow the scent. Hey, dog, what are you looking for? A small voice called. Birds, I answered. Why? the small voice asked. I'm a pointer bird dog, I answered. That's what he's doing with his nose. He points. And that's the little voice. Is that little hummingbird right there. I look for quail. You are not a quail, are you? No, it's a hummingbird. I'm a hummingbird, the voice said. Then the tiny bird flew away. The hummingbirds are one of the tiniest birds that are alive. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I whiffed the ground. Tweet! A whistle came from above me. What are you looking for, dog? I looked around. Tweet! The whistle came again. You are not a quail. Are you a hummingbird? I asked. I am a big, mean, strong, mockingbird, the bird said. Go look for quail someplace else. The mockingbird flew away. A mockingbird is really cool because it can mock or repeat different sounds that it hears of different birds. Ugh. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I followed my nose. Gobble, feathered wings puffed up. You smell like a bird, I said. You live on the ground like a quail, but you are way too big. That's what he's talking to. I'm a turkey, mother turkey to you. Go away. She shook her wings. She meant business. I'm a pointer. I'm supposed to find birds, I said. Listen, dog, I have to protect my nest, she said. Someone has been taking my eggs. No dog is going to point at me. I took a step forward. Hmm. Dog against a mother turkey. Those are pretty eggs. Whoa. She meant business. Do you have any babies yet? The bird's big wings flapped in my face. Her big feet hit my back. I ran home as fast as I could. Scared that dog. The mama turkey won. Chapter 2. Find that thief. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I was close to the nest. Mother Turkey crouched low in the tall grass. Mother Turkey, it's me. May I see your eggs? I stepped closer. Look, dog, someone sold another one of my eggs. I can't even leave my nest. I can't find food for myself. Go away. How many eggs do you have? I asked. There are only seven now. I had 13. Mother Turkey fluffed her feathers. Who do you think took your eggs, I asked. Maybe a skunk. I don't know. She looked very sad. I jumped to my feet. I'll find your eggs. Just stay away from my nest. Mother Turkey settled down on the eggs. She uses her body to protect the eggs, and her body is soft and warm. That's the most important part. Her warm body keeps the eggs warm.
I sniffed high, I sniffed low. I kept my nose to the ground. Woof! I barked at Raccoon. Do you have Mother Turkey's eggs? Raccoon hissed. I don't have anybody's eggs. Raccoon waddled off. They eat eggs and they eat chickens. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I smelled something new. It was not a good smell. Mama Skunk and her four babies pranced by. Their noses were in the air. Their bushy tails were straight up, but they had not seen Mother Turkey's eggs. Skunks eat eggs, and they also eat chickens. Ask me how I know. Chapter 3. Miss Turkey Mrs. Turkey I headed back home. I would find those eggs tomorrow. Suddenly I smelled something. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I wiggled my nose. Hey, Mother Turkey, where are you going? I called to her. The big turkey turned around. I'm Mrs. Turkey. Who are you? The turkey fluffed her feathers. Uh, I know what that is. I, I'm Dog. I'm looking for your missing eggs. Did you forget, I asked. How did you know about my eggs, the turkey wanted to know. You told me this morning. Don't you remember, I asked. Possum took my eggs. He's already taken five of them. I had ten, but I didn't tell you. So this is a different mother turkey. And if he's taken five of her eggs, how many eggs are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten that we can see. So that means five of them are hers. At least five or the five that we can see are somebody else's, that first mother turkey. I looked at her carefully. You're not my mother turkey. I am Mrs. Turkey. I have to go. I watched as the big turkey hustled through the brush. Then I ran as fast as I could to Mother Turkey's nest. Chapter 4. The best nest in the world. Mother Turkey, it's me. I know what happened to your eggs, I barked. Oh no, not you again. Mother Turkey covered her eggs carefully. I found another turkey. Someone is stealing her eggs, too. I have an idea. I don't want to lose another egg, she said. What is your idea? The other turkey says that Possum is stealing her eggs. She's afraid to leave her nest, too. Mother Turkey looked up at me. Hmm, she's thinking. Oh, there's the two mama turkeys. So what should we do? Let's put the nest together. That way, one can set on all the eggs, the other can watch and hunt for food. I don't know, Mother Turkey said. My babies won't know their real mother. If you don't, you might not have any babies. I can help you, I said. I ran back and forth between the two nests. Oh, he did a lot of running. Then the turkeys talked it over. They liked each other. Once they decided to let me help, things went pretty fast. There's Dog with, oh, he's got an egg in his mouth. He's helping them move the eggs. Be careful with my eggs. Don't bite down, Mrs. Turkey directed. I'll be very careful. I know how to retrieve. Gently, I took an egg in my mouth. Mrs. Turkey stood ground at her nest. I moved each egg to Mother Turkey's nest. Put it right here, dog, Mother Turkey leaned over to give me room. I set down the egg under her soft feathers. Can't let them get too cool, she said. Remember, they use their warm bodies to keep the eggs warm. I picked up the last egg. Mrs. Turkey followed me to Mother Turkey's nest. Hello, dear, said Mother Turkey. 
Please sit on the nest. I will go for a short hunt. I think we have the best eggs in the world. Don't you? Mother Turkey stood over the nest. She gently climbed over the eggs and sat down. I believe it is the best nest in the whole world. Oh. Sometimes, when I was not looking for quail, I would come and watch the nest. Then Mrs. Turkey and Mother Turkey could get something to eat. Well, that was nice of him. Look at him watching the eggs so carefully. So nice. <gasps> the eggs finally hatched. Mother Turkey was right. The babies weren't sure who their mother was. All right. I've raised, I've had uh, turkey eggs and had an incubator and watched them all hatch. They are adorable. That one's got its head and feet out. Some of them, oh no, I think that feet belongs to that one. That one just has its head out. That one's got a foot out. And that one only has the beak out. Sometimes they followed Mrs. Turkey. Sometimes they followed Mother Turkey. Sometimes they followed me. That was fine. We got some over there. We got some over here with her. And we got some over there with the dog. We all loved our babies very much. Oh, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Do you see any more? I do not. Oh, 11. I don't think I counted that one. All right. He's asleep and most of them are asleep. Good night. I love you, Blake. I love you, Aaron. <laughs>